Prior to running the model, we need to set up a scenario. We have sliders that we can use, use to adjust things such as the initial patient state, the rate at which the patient deteriorates, the base time that the nurse takes to notice, interpret and respond to cues, the fraction of cues that are correctly interpreted, noticed and acted upon, the work environment and the base level of understanding. So let's run a scenario. We'll start with a patient state of four, which is quite a healthy, stable patient. We'll choose a fairly rapid deterioration rate for this scenario, and we'll expect that our nurse will notice, interpret and respond to the cues fairly rapidly, so within, say, five to ten minutes. And the nurse will also correctly interpret the majority of those cues and correctly act upon them. So let's have a look at running the scenario. So we can see for this condition um, that over a period of 60 minutes, which we've got along the bottom axis here, the cues which are in red start to build up as the patient deteriorates and generates cues. Over that time, the nurse notices the cues as shown in green, correctly interprets the cues as shown in blue, and then acts upon the cues as shown in yellow. And we can see as the cues are acted upon, the cues themselves gradually disappear and dissipate. So if we have a look at the patient's state, we can see that the patient initially rapidly deteriorates as we had set up. And then as the cues are noticed, interpreted and acted upon, the patient then gradually starts to recover over the 60 minute period. If we have a look at learning, we can see that as the cues are acted upon, and the nurse receives feedback as the patient's state changes, there's a gradual increase in learning that occurs.